So let's start with this golden dragon yoga. I'm so grateful to be here with you again and to be able to connect and keep reconnecting. And it was such a beautiful day and practice yesterday also with all the solstice offerings happening through the Saha channels. And um, yeah, it really makes it uh, it's so much easier to move through if you have all this support and know what to do and just know what it's about and turning inward and knowing that the light is coming back. But right now we're still in this very still point moving inward. And I want to use today also, I felt like the golden dragon, it's this golden yellow, very fiery energy. And it actually reminds us of the solar plexus, like very like out there and actually active yoga. But I felt like, no, that's not happening now. <laughs> We're going in. So therefore it's yin yoga today. And um, yeah, I like to start with a, with a meditation where you can actually just lie down. So if you like, you can lie down on your back and it's a vasana and really let yourself your body sink into the earth um, of course if you feel like sitting up that's okay too um, always listen to your own body welcome if you're tuning in in the live there will be more light in a little bit just still dark especially with the clouds here and it's okay, it's perfect for yin yoga. So last week we started with the first class um, of the golden dragon. The golden dragon came to me uh, in visions after breath work. Very impressive, intense beautiful energy um, moving very gracefully and so bright, so, so bright. And then last week before, the night before this class, uh, the first class happened again, I woke up and I found this message, message of the golden dragon. So I feel, okay, this is something I'd like to work with and move into more. And we're gonna tap in to what it actually means for you. Like it's so personal for everyone, what this energy means and what it has to bring and what the message is for you. And we'll start with grounding down and taking a couple of deep, deep breaths. So we inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let's do four more, inhale. Release. <sighs> Moving the air through the entire body. <sighs> Cleansing and releasing the deep one, one more. Good. I'm tuning into the body. How do I feel right now? How, do I, how does the oxygen feel moving through my body? Is there any tension? My shoulders, my back, my arms, my legs. Gonna really relax a little more. And on each exhale, let your body sink deeper into the earth. Feel how Mother Earth is there to support you, embrace you, always. Feeling the protection a father sky above us, watching over us always. 
calling on any protection of our spirit guides and spirit animals, all the angels, guides, ancestors, call on them anytime that you feel you need it, you need support. Often, especially in the darkest moments, we forget. We can ask for support and only if we do ask, they are able to help us. We need to reach out. And the golden dragon is not always golden. And it can start quite dark with a lot of dark, darker colors, maybe even black. And when it starts like that, maybe it hatches from a dragon egg. And it starts like this little gray, black, blackish, little baby dragon. It wants to learn all these lessons. And then slowly, but surely, all those cells of the dragon will start to light up and start to reflect all the beauty that's already there inside and outside. But it wants to learn all these lessons. So it is not something to get rid of the black. It's like almost like a game walking this adventurous path and slowly becoming more bright, more light, starting with all these little glitters of gold, all these little points. And also this dark side can be the comfort zone because that is what the golden dragon is used to. If this is comfortable, it feels a little dense, feels a little contracted, it gives a little pressure. And it almost feels like this hug, like I'm kind of tight and small. You feel the call for the, for the expansion. I'm not sure, like what happens if I will start to glitter? Like, will there be expectations, am I worthy, am I capable, am I ready? So it goes back and forth, like little steps forward and then little steps back. Moving from the glitter back to the gray and black. <sighs> Taking deep breaths with each step. And then it will start to meet other dragons and see the glitters in them and notice how beautiful it is. And they will remind the dragon how capable and ready it is and always has been. And will actually kind of start to inspire it to take a little bigger steps and start to expand and glitter further, like more gold, like patches of gold will start to grow inside and outside. We're moving out of this comfort zone sometimes I feel like stretching too much, a little overstretching, being a little sore after a next step. But then knowing and feeling that there's actually no way back and also no wanting to go back only a greater longing to expand and feel the space. And starting to see all these infinite possibilities. Taking a deep breath. The infinite possibilities, the unknown, and sometimes we filled in 
with ideas of not possible or unknown territory and trying to run back to the old, trying to hold on to what we know, what feels comfortable. Also feeling this pull and curiosity and knowing about the expansion and what is there for us and what it's actually about. And then we'll move to the heart, the dragon's heart, which always has been made of gold, pure gold. So when this heart feels all these glitters and golden patches resonating outside of it, it will start to feel so joyous, so recognized, and it will start to jump for joy and giggle and expands and shine its light more brightly through all the cells of the dragon in all directions. And this light will shine brighter and brighter into all directions, shining on everything around this dragon. And shining through and beyond. Taking another deep breath, inhale and exhale. We'll take a moment now to tune in how this resonates for you and how your dragon is doing, how your golden dragon right now. Which state is it? Is it going a step forward or a step back? Or has it been glittering more, glittering less? And it's all part of this adventure of this game that it wants to play. It likes to discover all these different sides of it and all these possibilities. So there's no good or bad, just recognizing which patch do I like to explore right now? Where in my body do I need to stretch a little to create more space for the light to shine through, to shine in? I will notice by going into the yoga poses where those stretches need to go. Some poses will feel very easy and other more, others more tight. So then you know, just breathing into it with the golden light. And we'll just start with the first lying down on your mat. So you can stay exactly where you are. And we'll move into a side stretch of the side body of your dragon bringing the heels to the right lower corner of the mat. Then stretch your arms over your head, your wings above your head. And use your right hand to grab the left wrist and bring both shoulders to the upper right corner of the mat. Creating a half moon shape with your dragon's body. Maybe crossing your ankles. If your wrists are not touching the floor, you can bring something underneath for support. And I'm relaxing into this stretch. So relaxing the arms, the thighs. And feel maybe a gentle stretch, maybe a deeper stretch on the left side of your body. From the left wrist to the left armpit, the left hip, and to the left ankle. Your neck and head can be relaxed. Your jaw and your tongue can be relaxed.
And then notice where this stretches in your dragon's body. Is it in the hip or in the rib cage? Maybe the belly. And then breathe some golden light in through your nose, your crown. Bring it towards those places, those spaces, and exhale, let go. Feel the support of the Mother Earth, the protection of Father Sky. And let yourself sink deeper into the pose. Notice what is happening to the stretch. If it is, is decreasing, you might be able to bring yourself a little deeper. And breathing into that stretch, bring some light in without any expectations to that it will turn into gold within an instant, but just adding little glitter points into the stretchy areas, taking your time. It's all about the awareness that we bring in those areas. Some loving kindness, some light. And I'll take another deep breath into the left rib cage and exhale, let go. And then slowly let go of your pose. Bring your heels back to the center of your mat, your shoulders, arms down next to your body. And relax. Feel any sensation moving through your dragon's body, left side and right side. Let your shoulders and hips just sink into the earth.
and we'll slowly move to the other side so you can bring your dragon heels to the lower left side of the mat wings overhead use your left hand to grab the right wrist and bring your shoulders to the upper left corner creating a side shape bending shape on the right side of your body this side might feel completely different to stay open to how deep you want to go in the first stretch maybe cross your ankles and then relax your shoulders your arms your thighs notice where the stretch is so you can breathe in golden bright light and exhale to create more space and softly gently sinking into the pose Notice if your neck and head are relaxed, your jaw and your tongue. Now take another deep inhale into the right rib cage and let go. And move your body back in the center. Bring your wings down next to your body. Relax. Heels are below the hips, shoulders above your hips. And notice the sensations in your body. And pull the warmth moving, washing through.
You can slowly roll to one side and press yourself up to seated. We'll move into a heart opening pose. So you can take your props, maybe bring a bolster behind your lower back and a block behind that or anything else you can use at the moment. So if it's something that's not so thick for your lower back, then you might not need a block for your head. We're sitting on the mat with the soles of the feet together. So the knees go out to the side. If your knees are sensitive, bring some support on the knees to knees, so maybe a blanket or a cushion. And then we slowly move back and reach for the head support if you have it or need it. And we stretch our wings out to the sides with the hand bumps up. So we can open the chest and bend back in a passive back bend. So for yin yoga, you can always take some time to find a wiggle and adjust your pose before you really lean into it if you need to. So we're opening up the hip area, stretch on the inside of the hips, the dragon's thighs, stretch at the front of the belly, chest, maybe a little compression in the lower back, the shoulder blades. I see a lot of dragons with rounded backs and the concave chest, the shoulders forward, almost like protecting the heart, rounding more and more. The only way to live is with an open heart. So when we bend back and we open the chest again, creating more space for the lungs, to breathe, to bring the air in all the places and all the places that we need to stretch. And then the heart can expand and flourish again. So you're tuning into your golden heart, breathing in bright light, <sighs> letting the lungs hug your heart. Notice if there is tension that is being held in the hips. So maybe relax your thighs more. Trust that your hips can sink and that the bones will hold enough that you want to go too far. Often there's fear in the hips of letting go. And just relaxing and sinking, knowing that you will only stretch as far as is good for you right now to open up more space for the golden light to shine in and through and back out.
Notice if any thoughts are coming up or flying by, if you can let them go and return to your breath, to your body. Notice where the stretch is now. Can you breathe into it a little more gold, a little more air? And slowly, slowly start to make your way back out. Any way that feels comfortable for your body, so maybe the same way that you came in. We'll help the knees to come up and straighten the legs and lie down. In your Savasana. Straight arms, straight legs, straight spine. So the body can integrate this pose and return back to relaxation, sinking deeper into the earth. You can slowly turn to one side and press yourself up to seated. <clears throat> we'll move into a side stretch. So you can bring um, a cushion of also next to your right hip. You start on the right side and into the masculine side of the body and a block maybe just next to it. And then we'll bring the right knee in front. So the right foot is going to the left and then bending the left knee behind. There's a lot of black here, so I'm not sure if you can see how my legs are like this. <laughs> and then we bring the bolster closer to the hips and the inhale, stretch the chest up, twist to the right, and then lean over with the belly. You can lean your forehead on the block. 
but just noticing how it feels, the twist, sinking into it. If you need more twist, you can always bring the left knee further back. Twisting deeper or even bringing the left cheek onto the block so you look all the way to the right for a deeper twist. So just feel what your body needs now. And tuning into the stretch in the left hip or in your back, your chest, your belly. Relax your shoulders and arms. And then on this right side of the body, we'll tune in to the golden masculine. So tuning into which golden dragons have there been in your life or which golden dragons have you heard of in history that inspire you. So who are these beings that have been an example for you or have been mentoring you, guiding you, inspiring you? And tuning in to the steps that they made to get where they are, where they got. Recognizing the obstacles that they came across and the support that they needed to stretch into their golden dragonness. Expanding their goals. How did their adventures go? Just recognizing and reflecting on that, reflecting that goal back to you so your goal can expand. Notice if your jaw is relaxed. Taking a deep breath into the side, into the rib cage.
Alright, slowly, slowly come back up. Turn and twist back. And find your way to your savasana to lie down. And feel the rebound of this twist. Just relaxing. Into your mat, into the earth. And slowly turning to one side to come back up and move to twist on the other side. So now bring the bolster on your left hip, bending the left knee in front of you, the right knee to the right behind the left foot. And twisting on the inhale of the chest, twist to the left. And lean over the bolster, forehead on the block. Maybe you look all the way to the left, maybe to the right. Just feel what your spine needs, your neck. Relax your arms and shoulders. So now we tune into the left side and into the feminine. So all the feminine examples, mentors, guides that you know that come up right now from your life or maybe in history that inspire you. Who are those golden dragons? What are the obstacles that they encountered? How did they overcome it? What steps did they take to get where they wanted to be? Where they needed to be in, a, well, in order to expand?
Breathing into the stretch. Cold and light. Fresh air. On the exhale, let it go. Notice if you can relax a little more, sink a little deeper on your exhales. On your next inhale, slowly bring yourself back up out of twist. Move slow, remove your props, find your way on your back. Integrating, stretch the pose, just relax into the earth.
And slowly turning to one side and put yourself up to seated position. Let's go slow, make yourself comfortable. Maybe sit on something, putting the flesh underneath your sit bones so you can sit more comfortably. Relax shoulders. And here we go into the last one, bringing the soles of feet together. And then inhale, lift your chest to lengthen the spine and just round forward. Bring your wings, your dragon wings around you. Just relax the neck and head. Maybe you'd like to support yourself with something in front of you, a cushion. Just lean on it. I'm feeling the stretch at the back of the spine. Maybe the hips. So without pulling or pushing yourself, just relaxing into this. Keep your shoulders relaxed, your jaw relaxed. And then focus on the back of your heart. And let the golden light of your heart shine out and spread through your shoulder blades, your wings, and those wrap all around you. Just let this golden light flow. You can also start at the top of the head, let the light flow in, into the heart, and then out into the wings and all around you.
and tuning into your golden dragon's heart. And if there would come up any vision, what would it be? What uh, would you see? What spark of inspiration? What hope or dream do you see in your golden heart's vision? And take another deep, deep breath in and sigh it out. Let's do another one. And press your hands into the earth and slowly come up from your lower back into your middle back to your upper back. Back and head less. You help your knees to come up. Straighten your legs, roll yourself down into your final savasana. If you need a blanket or anything for support or to keep warm, please get it now. Let your body sink into the earth. Let it integrate and rest. Let the golden light wash through. And leave all the golden sparks in the new spots.
And then slowly start to deepen your breath. Maybe wiggle your fingers, your toes. And bring one hand on your heart, one hand on the lower belly. Tuning into the golden heart. Let the breath flow down into the belly. Taking a moment here to feel the gratitude for where you are right now. For all the visions that you may have received. Knowing that when possibilities show up, that you are ready, you are capable, you are worthy. The universe works in very intelligent ways. I'm taking a deep breath into the chest and exhale. Take your time, however long you need, to integrate. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste, Satam, Aloha. Mahalo and lots of blessings and love for me to you. <laughs>